Well, let's see, I want to talk to you today about elderly, I can take this off actually, about elderly um, narcissists. And as you know, I've been talking about, about what's been going on with my parents and it's so funny, I, I, I kind of have this, I think of, I think I'm supposed to be in my 30s and they're supposed to be in their 50s and my kids are supposed to be like 10. But we've all kept going along and um, so they're actually in their 70s. The, the truth is about narcissists, there's a lot of misinformation out there, a lot of different things that, that, um, that, you, can, that you can read and find out. But what I know from, from research, what I know from my practice and what I know from my own experience with my family is that time heals nothing. Time heals absolutely nothing, and you know, time in and of itself. In fact, it really um, it it makes things worse. If you have um, you have a, a family, you have you know, narcissistic parents who have not worked on themselves, who have just um, been allowed to stay in their stay in their delusions, stay in their false self, stay in their, their lies and in the, in the rigid roles that they have played and manipulated um, people and family around them. And especially, I, I, I think that when you have a, a couple, as in my case, um, my parents have each other, they have my brother, they have, um, you know, a fixed, a fixed little set of people that really need each other to keep the whole thing going and so they 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 um, have over time what I've noticed is well I was thrust out of the system and so I grew and was you know came to realize how different things could be they have gotten more and more fixed all the time and so in fact I haven't seen a drop of growth or or any reason to hope for anything um, with my family and every time I've seen my, my, my brother over time it's like the person that I knew in my in my 20s was completely completely more likable you know it's really sad it's it's incredibly tragic that there's been something that they've been so afraid of that they've kept themselves stuck if you are a person which I think a lot of us codependents are, we get, we get really bogged down in this stuff. We love our family. We were dutiful daughters and sons. We probably always intended to take care of them when they were elderly and all this stuff. I know I did. I've had a change of heart about how I think things are. I, there is no way that I could imagine subjecting myself and my son to any more abuse. There is no way that I would, after 15 years estranged, put myself in their lives without some sign of change on their part, without them having, without them making some gesture in my direction to let me know that they, at least they realize um, that that they have mistreated me and and want and, and value having me in their life. Um, they would even at least have to come that far, and there's no sign of that at all. Research seems to show that elderly narcissists are just even worse than ever. They just keep getting worse and worse and worse. And it, because also they get less fluid in their, so they get more rigid in their thoughts and they also have less ability to really manipulate their outer environment and get their needs met from, get, get supply from a lot of other places. So they will get it, they will get it met from bullying the, the sources that they feel they have power over, which generally speaking is usually their children and their grandchildren. And their tactics might change some, like coming to do it with guilt and things like that. And it's not even so much that it is that, you know, I just won't put up with it for, for, you know, it's not even so much that as it is that I don't see the point in it. Like, I don't think it would be good for them. I don't think it would be good for anybody. It wouldn't be good for my son. He's already seen so many bad examples, bad examples of bad behavior all of his life. He's seen adults behave in a really bad way. And so what lesson is it gonna teach him? If my parents get to 
mistreat me, mistreat anybody in my with me around condoning it. Everyone needs to sort of be accountable for their own actions, their own behavior. And you feel kind of badly because of course these are the th kinds of things that you would have heard your narcissistic parents saying way back when when you were a little kid and needing some some compassion and some empathy from them and they didn't have it to offer and they would they were they were very big into tough love and and you know you taking responsibility for not only yourself but them and everything else that was wrong in the family because you know you were scapegoated um, but you know I'm not gonna allow myself to be scapegoated because it would be bad it would be good for nobody I'm tough enough you know I'm tough enough now that I don't think that I am at a point where I am needing daddy's love so much that it would crush me anything like that I think I could do it and have a you know have it be a bit of it I could have some detached distance from it but I don't see I think that it would be really harmful to do I think it would be harmful to my parents to let them do that and I think it would be really harmful to my son to let my son see any more bad behavior you know um, it's time now that you know now that, that he's not going to be forced to be around sociopathic narcissistic people um, he can choose the people that he's around uh, you know it's really going to be important that that he is around good people who are responsible for themselves and compassionate people that are you know fully fully whole have whole hearts wholehearted people you know you do you, you can think oh what if you know what if he's on his deathbed all by himself or something and you know here's the thing I've been by myself a lot and if the worst thing you know is it worse if my if my say my mother and my father ended up alone on their deathbed alone with you know is that going to be more harmful to them than having them be deluded and having having you know getting away with this behavior and having me abuse allow myself to be abused allow myself to be mistreated and and really being around my parents being around my family and being invalidated having having what's happened just erased from the history books I've already had that happen once you know when they all attacked me 15 years ago it was basically erasing all the the whole person that I'd been I had been this really dutiful daughter this really responsible wife and mother and all this stuff and all of a sudden there was just this smear campaign that basically erased all of who I'd been the person that I'd been so I've already, got, I've already been through that one time for 15 years of estrangement and having this having been contacted by my um, mother uh, I had already I, I didn't necessarily have it all the way thought through but you know about 10 years ago they were trying to basically pretend like nothing had happened just pretend like let's just let's just act like nothing had happened and it was just an impossibility there was just no way I could do it um, no matter how much I may have wanted to it was just an impossibility because my life was completely utterly changed my life was completely unrecognizable um, as compared to what it had been before this all had happened and um, and I had had enormous growth I was also still very much in a a really precarious position um, in every sense of the word I was I was still I mean they the effects of what had happened to me I was still really fully in them at the time and so I knew that if they their expectation was going to be that I would have that I would be able to be the be able to act like I I, I was before all this had happened when I was um, able-bodied married financially secure uh, you know all of that and had and had the belief that my family and friends were all gonna be there for me if I ever had a crisis you know um, that wasn't me anymore that wasn't my reality and there was absolutely no way in the world that I could even pretend to be that person so at that point I just couldn't do it at this point I could do it and it wouldn't I mean I, I mean I, I could pretend whatever and it wouldn't even it wouldn't even um, emotionally probably harm me I could do it for their sakes or whatever if I thought that it was the the right thing to do if I thought that it was the the loving thing to do and I absolutely don't I don't think that there would be anything loving about that I think that it would be completely 
destructive to me. It would teach my son nothing good and it would ultimately cost my parents their only chance that they have left for any kind of growth or honesty or coming up to doing something right for themselves before it's too late. And it has nothing to do with me. It's too, it is too late really to do much for me um, and really too late to do much for my son. The only thing they have left that they could do for me at this point would be to start here and just try and be better people.